Hi, and welcome to my theory of where I review a classic live action Walt Disney movie. No classic uh, Walt Disney animation movie. That'd be for another theory, another time, and another video. Just classic live action Walt Disney movie. So, in my last video, I review The Love Bug. I think The Love Bug had a, a mini sequel. I'm going to review all of them. And whether or not some of those sequels to The Love Bug are classic or not, or some of them are bad, or some of them are okay, or whatever, I am going to review them. I'm going to find out, every time I review those sequels to The Love Bug, I'm going to find out whether or not they are classic or not, or some of those Dick to the love bug are good or not. Okay? So, um, today I'll be reviewing Herbie Ride Again. The second one. The Dick to the love bug. Okay? The one that came out for uh, the love bug movie. Okay? So, Herbie Ride Again, directed by Robert Steverton. So, he came, he came back and directed this one. Um, starring. Kim Barry, the guy that um, was in Mama Family, Helen Hayes, um, release date June 5th, 1974, running time at 88 minutes, and it tells, the story tells of uh, Herbie is back in gear, rev up, ready for more main cap comedy adventure in this. I kept breaking thick to the popper smash hit the love bug. Uh, this time Herbie Lee, Lady is Academy Award winner, Helen Hayes, stripper in the very first screen comedy of her career. Co star Ken Berry and Stephanie Power. She out to save her beloved Victorian Firehouse home from the wrecking ball of greedy real estate tycoon Kenny Wayne, it's the most beloved, lovable villain. Left to Herbie and his bug battling to come through in the club. That's in your deep out, get ready for a very good time. So, um, there's gonna be the debate between people whether or not some people might think this one is better than the love bug or the love bug is better than this one. Herbie right again. Um, Vine Tomato, the love bug, this one, the original one, got 75% on Vine Tomato. Herbie Bright Again got an 80 for that. Now, like I said in my in my review for the Love Bug, maybe one day I'll do a, do a video where I do a, a list of lit, give you the list of, of uh, all movies that, that I went crazy over or I grew up watching in my childhood. And this is one of the movies that I grew up watching in my childhood and now I went crazy over. You know, the Herbie franchise. And every time a Herbie movie came came out, or every time I saw a Herbie movie, I just went crazy over it. The Herbie franchise was part of my childhood. Okay? And, um, and, um, okay, I imagine there are probably some people out there, people people today, when they think of a Herbie movie, they just probably just think of Herbie before we loaded it. That's probably the only one they, they, they think of. But, uh, now, it's it been a long time since uh, I uh, watched all the Herbie movies. Uh, I was very little uh, watching the Herbie movie. I grew up watching the Herbie movie when I was very little. I had a lot of nostalgia for the Herbie movie, especially the the, old, the older ones. They have a plank uh, in my heart because I like them. And, um, maybe one day I'll do a ranking of all the Herbie movies. Uh, Herbie, Herbie Right Again is really good. Ken Berry, my favorite character in the movie. I like him in the movie. Uh, Helen Hay. She's really good. She also good in the movie. Um, but easily, the best character of all the Herbie movies. It's Herbie. That's why I watch the movie for it's for Herbie, how he acts and what he does in the movie. Okay? Um so I'm gonna give Herbie right again. 
At the end grade, I gave the Lebo an A play. Okay? So, uh, one day I'm going to have to sit down and watch the Lebo and Herbie Riley again back to back and see what's kind of like better. But, but I think they're both really great movies. And, uh, so, yeah. Thank you all for watching. And, uh, stay tuned to my next video where I review another Herbie movie sequel. Thank you all for watching.